Hi, hi guys! So today's video, ang video naman is Sass Lady or Sassy Lady, but I do believe it's Sassy Lady. So I have here a couple of products I ordered. And aside from Sassy Lady, meron akong nakita parang magnetic eyeliner and eyelashes na medyo sketchy, but I'm willing to try. Actually, I ordered these products like November of last year and and nagana kasi ako November so alam mo yun na ano ko na siya na take for granted ko na siya nakalimutan ko na siya so ngayon na naka-quarantine tayo finally i have time so without further ado let's start by the way alam ko marami na sa inyo nakakita ng review and tutorial of Sassy Lady but you know i want to try for myself malay mo iba-iba naman ang opinion yung bawat mga ano YouTubers mga beauty vloggers so first we have the all matte invisible pore face primer it minimizes facial pores smooth moisturizing flawless finish so ito yung kanyang packaging and honestly pag binasa mo yung mga nakasulat dito some of it are wrong grammar some doesn't make sense so it's just sketchy talaga to sassy lady. So this is what the face primer looks like. So it has a silicone feel. Ang lakas maka yung baby skin ng Maybelline. So while waiting for the primer to set, I'm gonna do my eyebrows muna. And I did not get, hmm, hindi nga ba ako kumuha or parang walang stock na nasa perfect shade ko. I'm not sure, I forgot, pero wala akong eyebrow product. So, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows off cam. So, meron ako nakuha foundation at etong kanilang matte longwear foundation. Medium coverage, radiant, and soft. So, I got the shade number 4 in natural. Hmm, alam mo yung texture niya parang yung ano, Maybelline Dream uh, Satin Mousse, but it kind of like a smell. Hindi siya, hindi siya chemical smelling pero amoy lotion. So let's see ano magiging effect nito. <gasps> Medyo maputi siya sa akin guys, but let's see if it's gonna oxidize. Natural na yun na. <laughs> so one layer, I, I kind of like it, guys, because kaya nang parang nagmumove siya. I kind of like the finish, pero parang antagal niya mag, parang antagal niya mag set. Yeah, parang ilang minuto na hindi parin siya parang super duper na kalapat dun sa skin. Pero maganda yung finish niya. Eh. This is just one layer, and to nga, it's I think it's just medium coverage, but oh. I think I want to add more a little bit here because I can see my veins. Uh, veins. I don't have an allergic reaction because if there's I am definitely going to use this for every day. I'm going to use a darker foundation or like a darker powder to set it because it's like a one shade lighter. So the next thing that I have is the Pro Longwear Concealer. Full coverage, smooth, and radiant. And I got the shade in number two. Oh, this is cute. Mas mabuti yung foundation ko. Pero dahil yellow tone siya. Wait, let me try. Let me try it first. Let us not judge. I'm sorry, guys. Mas paputi, mas paputi talaga yung foundation kesa sa concealer. So siguro magagamit ko tong concealer if I am using a different foundation. Like, ikokorek ko lang to. Papatunga ko lang na another layer of, just a tiny layer of foundation para lang. Pabalik ulit. So I have here yung Sassy Lady uh, Face Powder. Poreless Silky. Provides all day flawless finish with shine control. Wears up to 16 hours over makeup. Lightweight and comfortable feel. And I got the shade in number 3. Ang hirap kasing mamili guys ng shade online. Kasi parang iba yung nagiging labas niya sa in person. In fairness. 
Alam mo, in fairness talaga, guys. Naging parang full coverage na yung foundation ko. So, before I finish the rest of my face, gagawin ko muna yung uh, eyes ko. And this is what I'm going to use. Itong Sassy Lady Eyeshadow Palette. And this is in the shade number one. Ayan. Ayan. Cute ng packaging. And this is what it looks like. Merong bonggang mirror. And just look at these colors, you guys. Sorry, sin watch ko na yung dalawang shade. Na excited ako. I don't know what I'm gonna what look I'm gonna do, pero medyo attracted ako dito sa dalawang color na to. So meron na tayong transition shade and in fairness, pigmented siya although medyo ma-fall out siya. Parang pag dinip mo yung brush mo, magkakaroon ng vum 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 Ganun. So, I'm going to get the black color. And then, ilalagay ko lang siya sa outer V. So predictable. Just to give a uh, depth dun sa outer V natin. In fairness, I'm pigmented. Kunin ko ulit yung isang brush kanina. I-blend ko lang ng maigi yung mga eyeshadows. And then slowly, I'm going to blend the black shadow papunta sa crease. Yung gilid doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to clean it up later. Parang gusto ko rin maglagay ng konting black doon sa inner corners. Flat brush. So, meron siyang konti-konting uh, fallout. Tapos, oh, nag-crease na yung under eyes ko, guys. So, I'm just gonna clean up the edge. So, kung ano nilagay ko sa taas, yun din ang ilalagay ko sa lower lash line. So next I'm going to do is itong kanilang eyeliner na waterproof, smudge proof, long lasting, and inky black. So this is what it looks like. It kind of look medyo saucy. And it's a felt tip. Um, siguro I'm just gonna define my lash line. I like this eyeliner, you guys. Like, seriously. Pag sinay ka sa mga felt tips, sa mga liquid eyeliner, this, I think you would like this. Pero kung beginner ka at hindi ka masyadong fan ng mga liquid eyeliner, you're, you're more like a pencil liner, um, you're gonna have a difficult time using this kasi medyo manipis yung dulo niya at medyo malambot. Hindi yung matigas nag Alam mo yun, brush or felt tip. Oh my gosh, you guys. May nahalo kay ubi akong lashes. Although, gamit na siya. Pero... Pwede pa naman. Yeah. So, I'm just gonna apply falsies, then I'll be back. So, while waiting for my falsies to dry, I'm going to bronze and contour and highlight na. I have a highlighter from Sass Lady, pero wala akong bronzer and contour. So, I'm going to use a different uh, brand for the bronzer and contour. So, I have a blush from Sassy Lady, and this is their compact blush in the shade, uh, compact blush pop cheek in the shade 01. The packaging looks like this, super simple, and the shade looks like this. Kind of like it, so pretty. Oh, 
it's pigmenty. So I'm just going to apply it this as a side. The highlight, I have this one. This tiny little cutie pie. It's the Sassy Lady Pro Cosmetics uh, Highlighter Powder. Mmm, powdery feel sha. But let's see if it works. On, let me tell Dan. Mapunta tayo sa lips and don't judge me guys. If matagal ka na sa channel ko, you know that I love lip products more than any, any, any other makeup uh, items or makeup products, makeup types. And I bought like four different uh, lippies from Sassy Lady. So isa isahin natin. I have two Dream High Shine Lip Lacquer. And then I have two. This one is the Lasting Matte No Drying Matte Lip Ink 12 Hour Stay. And then the other one, the third kind, is the long-lasting, no-drying, uh, 12 hours stay matte lip ink. Um, I don't know ano pinagkaya ba nitong dalawa, pero magkaiba sila ng itsura sa packaging eh. The first one is the shade, oh look at this, this is so cute. So this one is in the shade 01. So this is the Extreme High Shine Lip Lacquer, Smooth and Moisturizing in the shade 01. And I love it! I love it so much, you guys. It's sa eye look. And hindi siya tacky. It is very pigmented as a lip gloss. You can really see your lips. And it's not tacky at all. And I like it. I love it. This mm. one is in the shade 06. And to clear. Ah, there are gold specks. So this is the shade 06 and it's a good lipstick uh, topper or liquid lipstick topper but on its own, it's weird because you can see the gold specks. Niya. And is the Lasting Matte No Drying in the shade number uh, 20. It looks like this. There is a gold handle. Ooh! So, ito na siya, guys. And oh my god. Oh my god, talaga. It is very, very pigmented. Like, hindi siya tacky. Comparable siya sa Elana Mineral Cosmetics na yung Lip and Lux nila. Parang ganun yung nararamdaman ko sa kanya. Pero this is much more comfortable. Hindi ko lang napupusuan yung smell niya. Kasi amoy paint siya upon application. Pero ngayon, parang wala naman siya amoy. Pero very comparable nga sa Elana Mineral Cosmetics na Lip and Lux. So that's something. Kailangan niyo na makeup remover para maalis siya ng maayos. Next one is yung din ang pangalan, Long Lasting No Drying uh, 12 Hour Chenelin. Pero this is in the shade number 21. Pero guys, parang magkaiba sila. Ayan no, iba yung packaging niya. Tan tararan. Uh, I like this shade, itong number 21. Pero, mas taki lang siya ng slight compared dito. And ayoko yung applicator nito. Kasi tingnan nyo guys. Para siyang uh, scoop na ganun. So parang nagkakalaman dito. Pero hindi mo masyadong uh, ma-apply na maayos lahat. Kasi yan, nakascoop siyang ganyan. So, I don't recommend this one. I like this one better than this one. Kahit pareha sila ng pangalan. Try nga natin lagyan nito. Itong si uh, Lipstick Topper. Tignan natin ano magiging effect niya. Wow! Paskong Pasko! Ganda naman, pero pang Pasko. <laughs> I'm definitely gonna go for the first one that I tried. Kasi parang yun yung mas bagay sa aking overall look. So, I'll be back. guys, so we are done to the last part. So, ano nga bang masasabi ko sa lahat ng mga na-try natin? I'm sorry kung nag iba, -iba yung lighting kasi uh, I have a natural win Ay, natural window. I have a window here sa pupapasok yung natural light. And sometimes maaraw, sometimes nawawala. Nakakaloka. Anyway, so, ano nga bang masasabi ko sa lahat ng products na na-try natin? So, let's start with the primer. I kind of like it because it reminds me of the Maybelline, uh, yung baby skin. 
parang okay naman yung naging lapat ng foundation sa skin ko. So, I think, I think this is sort of kind of effective primer. Um, would I recommend this? Uh, yeah, sure. Kasi hindi pa naman ako, na, hindi naman ako nangangat eh. So, I kind of like this. I would probably recommend this to you guys. Next is itong Matte Longwear Foundation. Honestly, I also liked it. Wala talaga ako expectations sa foundation ito, guys. But surprisingly, habang tumatagal, parang nagmamatch na siya sa skin tone ko. And... Okay naman yung finish niya. This one and then topped with a the name powder. This one topped with this powder is actually a nice um combination. I kind of like it. Reminds me of a combo ng Maybelline. Maybelline foundation and a Maybelline powder. Ganito yung kanya magiging parang kalalabasan and in a sort of kind of more affordable price. I like the blush you guys uh Matte, matte blush siya, and I, I can see myself using this sa mga susunod pang makeup. Ito, I don't like this. This is chalky, this is powdery, and hindi siya blinding. Ilang layers na nung highlight yung nilagay ko para magbukas siyang, alam mo yun, highlight na highlight. So, I don't recommend that you buy this. This is affordable, but you know, magiging kalat lang to sa makeup kit nyo. So, don't get this. Kung sanay ka na mag-eyeliner and magsanay ka na mag-liquid liner, I think you would like this because I liked it. It's very, uh, uh, hindi mahirap alam mo yun is stroke kasi lumalabas talaga yung yung ink i i really like this so i also recommend that you get itong uh, eyeliner hindi ka na pala naggamit yung magnetic lashes kasi nga may eyeliner ako nakuha sa Sasselini so yeah sigit ko lang yun next naman is yung eyeshadow do i like it i do like it but i don't think this is something that i'm going to use for events for a serious makeup gig makeup tutorial or whatsoever kasi Pigmented naman siya, as you can see, guys. Diba? Lumalabas naman siya. Pero, maniwala kayo sa hindi. Nakailang layers ako ng patong ng eyeshadow. Kasi, para siyang gumagalaw or nag-fade habang ginagawa ko yung other parts of my face. I do recommend this if you're a beginner in makeup. Or, alam mo yun, you wanna try different color of eyeshadows. Gusto mo pa-practice-an. But, ayaw mong gumastos ng bongga. I do recommend this. Pero for big events like a wedding or yung mga concerts or something like that, this is not the palette that I'm gonna use kasi I don't think this is long-lasting. Um, and medyo patchy siya. Hindi ko alam kung dahil ba sa base ko, pero I, I, I doubt. Sa dami ng eyeshadows na na-try ko, na-feel ko na na this is not gonna be like super duper long-lasting sa hula saan. Kailangan mo ng matinding makeup base, ng eyeshadow primer para, alam mo yun, tumagal to ng bongga-bongga with matching makeup spray. Kasi... I swear, ilang layers to ng patong bago siya mag-stay na ganyan. Nakakaloka. So, 50-50 ako dito sa eyeshadow. Next are the lip products. I do recommend that you try this kahit medyo amoy siyang paint. Nainiwala ko, this one is long-lasting. And maganda yung lapat niya. It's not tacky. It's not drying. Although, medyo similar siya sa Elana Mineral Cosmetics. Pero ito, mas lightweight yung feel. And then, I would also suggest that you get these glosses. Especially this one. Uh, not so much this one. Itong lip gloss topper na ito, itong 06. Pero itong 01 and perhaps the other shades, I do recommend that you get because ang ganda nyo. It's pigmented. It's not sticky. I really love it. I uh, I enjoyed it. I like it, guys. Ito, I don't like this. Don't get this. Sararat yung applicator nito. So, overall, you guys, nag-enjoy naman ako sa mga products na binili ko. Mara-recommend ko naman is somehow itry nyo yung Sassy Lady, lalo na kung if you're in a budget or if you're a beginner in makeup. So, that completes the video, guys. I hope nag-enjoy kayo. So, don't be shy. Put your comments and your suggestions and your violent reactions and whatnot. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoy this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye!